see you watching. Just go ahead and click on subscribe, like, share, comment. It's free. Citizen to a citizen, fool. Citizen to a citizen, fool. Another one. Alright, so this is uh, Welcome Back, Episode 7 of Pause. Um, I didn't want to do this one. Uh, well, I did want to do it because I wanted to go ahead and continue the conversation, but I found it a little bit difficult to do it when it actually happened. So last week uh, in Brooklyn around 3, 3.50 uh, a.m., there was a fatal stabbing of a community activist. Um, and it was a senseless stabbing. So, you know, after just listening to the reports, it just it just kind of stuck with me. You know, should New York City reconsider their concealed carry permit laws? So I'll pause right there and I'll roll the video in for those that haven't seen it. Um, and for those that have, uh, take a look and we'll be right back. Most moral people you could ever know and now he's dead. Stabbed by a deranged stranger while waiting at a bus stop with his girlfriend after they attended a wedding. Us Trump reports it was all caught on video and we should warn you, this is intense. They went from having a great time at a wedding to suffering a brutal knife attack. Ryan Carson and his girlfriend were still dressed in their wedding finery, sitting at a bus stop when a stranger walked past them. It was 3.50 in the morning as they strolled down the block on their way home. The deranged man began kicking over parked scooters and screamed, what the blank are you looking at? <laughs> Victim Ryan Carson stepped in between the unhinged man and his girlfriend, trying to protect her. But the stranger goes berserk, taking a swing at him. Ryan tries to push his attacker away and run, but trips over the bus bench. As the madman stabs the 32-year-old victim, his girlfriend pleads for mercy. As Mr. Carson lay dying on the sidewalk, the male with the knife kicks him in the chest, threatens to stab the woman companion, and spits in her face. A woman can be heard yelling off camera. Brian. Brian. She appears to know the assailant and calls him Brian. I'm so sorry. Go watch him. Go watch him. Police today say that they are closing in on their suspect and that he is 18 years old and works at a school in Brooklyn. All right, so um, definitely a terrible event. I mean, you know, this couple, they weren't doing anything. They were leaving a wedding, um, you know, minding their business for the most part <clears throat> at a bus stop. They got up, started walking into the direction of uh, Brian Dowling and um, apparently he was having some sort of issue, uh, whether it be a mental issue or if he was upset. Um, you know, other reports are saying that towards the end of the clip, there was another female, apparently he was, she was with uh, Brian and trying to control him, uh, something like that. I don't have all the details, they're, they're kind of sketchy. But, you know, it was senseless. And I couldn't help but think that, you know, in this instance, if uh, Ryan, had a had a concealed carry permit and was carrying that he could have he could have stopped it um you know stopped the threat which is which is why we we, we carry uh pistols concealed to go ahead and protect ourselves our loved ones and those that can't protect themselves against any danger any imminent danger threat of death or great bodily harm um so it kind of you know it kind of digs into me especially when when you really consider that all 50 states 
<laughs> believe it or not, all states have laws in place that uh, allow citizens to conceal or carry weapons. Um, it's just a matter of issuing the permit. Okay, so, you know, I did an episode back in 21, November 21, and I had a conversation with a couple of people that um, used to live in Brooklyn or, or lived in New York or still live in New York. And uh, we were just talking about, you know, what do you think? I'll, I'll uh, put the video up on the top. You can check it out if you feel like. Um, and, you know, there were, there were conflicting, there were conflicting uh, answers, you know. Some said, I don't know if New York can handle that. And I get it. I, I grew up, I grew up in Brooklyn. And um, not the Brooklyn that you see today, because I promise you, you know, growing up in the 90s, you, you don't, that, that is not what Brooklyn, that's not the face of Brooklyn today. In fact, you know, if it was 3.50 in the morning and I'm leaving a club or a wedding and it's just me and my girlfriend and I'm walking in one direction and I see that type of behavior, I don't care. I'm crossing the street and I'm walking in another, in another direction. The Brooklyn today, you know, <laughs> the Brooklyn today, we're, it seems like they're were, they were walking towards the, the direction where it seems like there was some sort of disturbance, and um, that's not just how I, that's not how we got down. And those of you that that know me, that lived in Brooklyn with me or during that time, you know, if you saw something going down on the end of the block, you're not walking in that direction. Or if you are, you're crossing the street. I don't think that I see piss coming. I move. You know. Anyway, um, you know, comment down below. What, what's your? No matter where you're from, you know, what what, what do you feel? Do you, do you feel that this could have ended differently if uh, if uh, Ryan Carson was armed? If New York allowed concealed carry, you know, and what if it did? Right? You always have the the victims. The friends and families of the victims saying, well, he didn't have to kill him or he didn't have to shoot him. You know, when somebody's life is, is, at da is in danger and they feel threatened, like a genuine threat where somebody's lunging at you with a knife, you know, you, you, you have to respond. You know, you can back up to which um, Ryan did, but unfortunately his situational awareness goes out the windows with his fine motor skills and he fell and tripped over uh you know the, the the seating which which is typical you know in a high stress uh situation or environment you're losing 75 percent of your fine motor skills so that's typical unless that's something you train for on a regular basis so this video is it has a lot there's a lot to unpack i'm not gonna you know make this a 15 minute video but one of the things to consider is you know should should New York and other states like New York revisit their concealed carry permit uh, laws? Um, if you're in a state that allows concealed carry or all arms firearms, do you train enough? Are you ready for a situation like that? And then just in general practice, how often do you practice situational awareness? How aware of you are are you of your of your surroundings and the situation uh, that you're in? So something to consider. Um, a conversation that needs to be continued, you know, not a YouTube video, but feel free to, to comment on it. And, um, you know, my heart goes out to, to uh, Ryan and his family and his friends. Um, it's just sad that that happened because it didn't have to happen. All right. Thanks for checking out. Uh, episode seven or pause. Another one.